Does your house have clerestory windows that are so high you need a ladder to open them? Wish you had motorized window cranks? I just installed mine and I'm going to tell you how to do it. My windows are <clears throat> from the Alpin Window Company, A-L-P-E-N. They sell Passive House certified windows and they use Truth Hardware for their cranks. You have a choice of <clears throat> 24 volt system or a 120 volt system. My house was pre-wired with low voltage wires to all the windows way back in 1981 and therefore I'm making use of the 24 volt motors. Uh, model 20, uh, 4351W stands for White Century 2 low voltage motor and the item 4353 century 2 handheld rf remote here's the remote what you get paperwork wise is this uh this is the uh pdf for ordering from their website this is a booklet that comes with the hardware this is a single page that gives you a, a picture view. You get the manual for programming the remote. The remote, you get face plates. These can be in your wall. And here's the wall box. So here's a list of options you can order. This is the, uh, again, the HS model is 120 volt, WLS is 20, uh, 24. Uh, a page for HS with their model numbers. And some other itemizations. Then if you want to have skylights, you could use uh, some other hardware. The uh, book you s to install, you start with your window crank. The motor comes with this slide in adapter. This end has threads very deep. The other end has threads out the surface. It'll grab more splines on your window crank. Um, and also my house was pre-wired for 24 volts. You're going to want to drill for the, uh, brackets. This diagram is for casement and awning windows. Both of those will crank. Uh, you want to slide the motor over the spline of the window. You want to add this bracket to the end of the motor. You put, you put this rubber grommet into the holes that fit the shape of your window frame. It's got variable holes to try. Finally, you slide the motor again over the splines and place the motor against the window frame with its bracket. After you have the motor on, you can put this cover. Note that the motor side goes towards the window frame and the flat side is facing out towards you. These boxes are what are on the table here. This diagram talks about the switches that are inside that box. This diagram <clears throat> shows the wiring. You basically, it's very simple. You have the motor at the window, a red
red and black wire going to two pins, red and black. This might be 100 feet away or whatever. And you have the rain sensor going to a gray and green screw. I mean, uh, these are press fit. You, you push on these buttons and insert the wires. There's the rain sensor. Finally, there's a ribbon cable that connects the faceplate to the control box. There's a special note. The cable goes on only one way. It's got greens on one side and kind of white on the other side. This is the green side. And that's the other side. This side faces to the outside of the box green side plugs in to uh, uh, th this pins on the box. Here is the gray and green that the rain sensor connected to. Here are the red and black wires that connect for the power 24 volts going to the motor. Over here is the reset button, the uh, learn button for programming your remote. Finally, when you put it together, you screw these into the side and this is all hidden in the behind your sheetrock. These are tabs to lock the new box into a pre-cut hole of your sheetrock. That would be the <clears throat> wall switch that you can use. This is going to close the window. If I press this, this is going to open the window. The last two buttons are to control window shades. <clears throat> if the window, when the first time you power up and you, uh, the motor is going to start running, if the window is uh, Opening instead of closing, you can flip the switch three and it'll reverse the voltage. Uh, so this is a nice summary picture that came with it. You have your faceplate, your motor, the crank that's on the window frame, the ribbon cable that came down to the board the rain sensor, it plugged into the gray and green uh, terminals and the red and uh, black wires connect to these two screws, uh, uh, connectors, they're not screws. <clears throat> you connect a 120 volt power supply to the AC wires that are in the box. I used these red pinch connectors. The cable, the AC goes out to your wall switch, your wall outlet. The 24 volt wires go up to your house pre-wiring And finally, <clears throat> you have to go to the, once you plug in the outlet, the, the, the unit is powered up, you then jump over to the remote control book. You put the batteries in the back side of the remote. That's step one. <clears throat> you press the learn button in the box you press the open button on the remote you wait for a few seconds for this display to come up 
you press then the unit button. This is the unit button. You must follow the sequence. You then press the open button once again. And if the uh, windows have never been operated for the first time, they are going to go all the way out and all the way in. And finally, it's ready. This remote has two different battery covers. You can go uh, on the wall outlet, like faceplate like this. I typed out these instructions as a reminder how to program the remote. It connects as a wall mount this little t t slot right here goes into that slot. Mm. I'll get it here soon. There. And now... I can press the uh, open button. We're going to be opening up the clear story windows way up there, 16 feet high. There's the first window. Here's the second window. windows move very slow, glacial slow. It takes 70 seconds to close the window. I'm going to press the remote one more time. And that stops the window mid-progress. This, by the way, is a temperature in the house. And if I press close one more time, the windows are closing. This remote has nine different unit numbers, but under every unit number one or whatever, you can have unlimited windows programmed to unit one or unit two or unit three, depending on your unit is your location or room that you want. And that is how you install a Century 2 Truth Hardware if your window manufacturer uses Truth Hardware for the cranks. Uh, Century also has an uh, option for Pella window cranks.